So in this is Star Trek Attack Wing Unboxing, I'm going to be going over the Borg Collective blind bag ship, the IKS Bamoth. Okay, so here are the contents of the Bamoth uh, sealed ship package. And as always, we're going to, the first thing we do is go over the ship model itself. And in this case, uh, the ship is actually really pretty good. I mean, the paint job isn't bad. It's just kind of boring. It's just got silver. Um, it's a different color green, the other Klingon ships. Um, it's got a nice active actual photon torpedo tube in the front. And of course, from the other D7 Katinga models, you know, the Groth and the um, Kornos one, the bridge is actually in the right place on this one. It's actually where it's supposed to be. So this is a far superior model than the um, other ones in the same shape. And it's a, so I'm very happy to have it. It's a great model. Let's take a look at the cards. Um, so first we have the elite talent is Kapla. During the roll attack dice step of your combat phase, before rolling any of your attack dice, you may discard this card to select one of your attack dice and set it on the side of your choice. That dice can be, cannot be rolled or re-rolled because, you know, there are effects that um, your opponent forces you to re-roll a die. Um, so that die is immune to that uh, during the, the round in which you use this upgrade. So that's really nice. It's only two points, so a two-point discard uh, where you get to set one of your dice. Uh, no matter what it's kind of nice i mean it's for the price if it was a five point discard it wouldn't be worth it but for two points i think it's worth it so here's your set uh captain four points for skill seven captain which is pretty nice um, to have another high skill captain for the klingons so target a ship at range one to two the target ship may choose to disable one of its crew upgrades if the target ship chooses not to disable one of its upgrades or it has no upgrades uh, that are not already disabled, you gain plus one attack die. So it's basically an action to gain a plus one attack die or disable one of the opponent's crew cards. So, not too bad. And he does have the elite talent slot, it's four points. Not, not bad at all. Here's the actual name ship card, the FKS Pomoth. It's a continuing class, so the stats and maneuver and everything else are exactly the same as the Kronos one. You can perform a red maneuver while there is an auxiliary power token beside your ship. That's actually a pretty powerful ability. Being able to do those uh, hard threes and come about and still um, do another red maneuver. So I uh, can't do any actions, of course, but uh, you don't gain additional auxiliary power tokens. And or do, you might still gain additional tokens, I'm not sure, but I would assume you do. Uh, but you can still perform additional red maneuvers. So that's really nice. It's your standard four point photon torpedoes. Let's see, Kunavas. During your mo the modify attack dice step of the combat phase, you may discard this card to add one additional hit result. So again, it's a two-point crew. That's an upgrade. I mean, it's only a two-point upgrade. It's a crew slot. And in, instead of turning one of your dice into a hit, it, it adds one hit. Um, automatically, it just adds one additional hit. So that could be important on that final hit on an enemy ship. To trim intermix is one of the better cards in here. It's a tech slot. Four points. Discard this card to flip all of your critical damage cards face down and then repair one damage to your ship's hull. Then you can perform a cl uh, evade action as a free action this round. So that's a nice set of abilities. Um, so you're not losing any action because you get the evade for it. So um, if you survive that warp core breach one roll, then you can use this to get rid of it. This is actually a really nice card. Um, it's a tech slot. So there's usually quite a few tech slots on Klingon ships. And overall, um, it, it's useful. It definitely has its uses, no doubt about that. Here's your generic captain. The standard uh, Katinga class ship. And lastly, the maneuver chart, just like the other Katinga class. So that's what you get in here. You do get, let's see, you do get a, a token to use with the captain. Uh, plus one die against the target ship. Um, everything else is pretty much boring. And of course, I've already taken off the maneuver dial and stuff because I had to use it tonight when I played in the OP1, uh, the collective event tonight. But yeah, I'm really happy to have the ship because, you know, I like Klingons above everything else. So I'm, I'm incredibly happy to have the cards in the ship just because they're Klingon. Um, uh, and this is by far the best ship in the of all five in the blind, blind, uh, blind boxes. So that's it for this uh, Star Trek Attack Wing unboxing, and I'll talk to you guys later.